Hello everyone, and uh, today, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, today I finally got to see Sasha's party after like a week and a half or long, for as long as it's been out. Um, I finally got to see it, and I'm here to give you what essentially is my thoughts on the movie. And um, the main story is that, you know, there's this gro grocery store, and all the food, food and stuff, like, or all that from dairy to non dairy, whatever it is, inside of there is alive. And essentially, um, it was like they're alive and very conscious, no matter the course. And it's like, every, it's like um, the way someone takes a bit of food and brings it home to them, that's like the gods choosing you and bringing you to heaven. Is is very much that their, their own view or and or, and or interpretation of that, essentially. And essentially, uh, in this movie, um, through various circumstances, which I won't spoil for you guys, if you haven't seen it already, um, uh, Simo, this one sausage, a voice by Seth Rogen, is notified that they aren't really of what everyone in the grocery store thinks it is, through some mass hysteria and other things like that that goes on within it, uh, within, within their own society, within the grocery store, which is very interesting and vivid, um, let me just. There we go. Um, and essentially, you know, they grow very, very much aware of what's going on, and uh, you know, it's all about the store and how the animal, how the food, kind of deals with it, and there's so many, so many jokes and, and turmoils and all that type of shit that goes through this movie. Um, I wasn't really thinking much of this film before going in to see it. But I'm like, you know what, it looked interesting enough, and I'm like, yeah, it looks fun, it looks interesting, why, why don't I want to see it, it looks funny. So I got up, finally got to see it, and after seeing it, I'm going to say, I really thoroughly did enjoy my experience with the film. It was funny, it was well done, it was, the animation is great, it, <laughs> it looked very good. Um, um, I loved how the animation was... It was good, and it was sharp and very simple. Kind of like with last year's Inside Out. It's like, you know, it's not like, it doesn't look like so superb. Like, there's not a lot of fun details or anything, but it looks really good. And the way the food actually looks really enough to say, it looks actually correct on scale, to be honest. Kind of like when you watch something like uh, a bug, uh, I think it's ants, where it's like all the animals are to scale, or anything like that. Where we have, where we are, they like in Godzilla, or whatever type of movie, it feels the scale. And I think they, they show that very, very well. Um, the animation is great, the voice acting is great as always. Like, you got this is the same guys who bust, this is the end, Pineapple Express, and so many, so many, so much other material. I mean, voice actors like like Seth Rogen, James Franco, Jonah Hill, Kristen Wake, Sama Hayek. Um, um, Michael Cera, Paul Rudd, Edward Norton, Conrad Vernon, Danny McBride, Bill Hader, so many voice actors, oh yeah, uh, um, Nick, uh, Nick Kroll and Craig Robertson, a bunch of these other big voice people within comedy, and they all really do play their roles well, and for me, in my opinion, one of the biggest strange about this, also about this movie is that when they have the voice actors... Uh, when these voices come through, they aren't totally obvious. And there's some characters where I'm like, I know there's a, a voice actor there, I just don't know who it is. Like when you watch the movie, and at the at the at the end, it's like, oh yeah, everyone on the voice this character, and I'm like, completely forgot he did. Oh my god, I didn't recognize that was everyone on, or that was Danny McBride. It was like, it it was so good, I did not recognize. There's so many voices because the moment you do, you hear the voices it's like, oh yeah, that's a, this just a Seth Rogen type of character. Then that totally fails on all levels. But the fact I could hear him, hear the voices, and be like, oh, it again? It, that just adds so much credibility to it, and it really proved the voice acting skill was very good there. I'm wearing the sweater, and I am fucking sweating. This movie, the language. And all this other stuff, this movie is raunchy to the brim. It is whole... After experiencing the film, this is like 
on par with South Park of how raunchy it can get. And I mean that sincerely. It's language is this on the this on the radio just on the level of language itself, it's like holy shit, what the fuck? Because well, using language like such is actually very appropriate. Because the movie goes just absolutely bonkers and like for me at least in my opinion the first 15 minutes were very very good I'm like this is really interesting this is really good I'm so invested with the characters the story the, the jokes were hilarious within the first beginning I'm like well, how can it go any wrong and once the story kind of goes it takes and once the story gets in the main focus it's like ah, I, I see what's going on now uh, like <laughs> I probably think this is a comedy first and foremost of any genre, and it is, and I understand that. But story and characters and focus gotta be the top um, um, prerogative for any film. Otherwise, it fails on all fronts. And this movie has interesting and good characters for the sake of it. But uh, I will almost say, but but um. But also the story itself is really interesting and puts a really interesting good type of focus on religion and modern things and how they're applied to us in certain societies. It's like there's certain laws on how as we do as as humans do with how we view God in certain ways. It's like someone take it into certain certain degrees or extremes. And some people say, Well, tr- uh, certain equalities or superiorities or whatever like that and I think they, they, they actually did get that quite well within this movie and how both blind faith and utter obedience and just relying in that type of stuff um, is actually applied very, very well. And I, in my opinion, at times, I felt it was a bit too... I wouldn't say it felt too hammered, but it, it was very, very obvious when it was that focus, when it was talking about all the religion. It was like, when Seth Rogen's kid was like, oh, I know. How can you believe in something with such blind faith? You gotta see some empirical evidence to see it. And uh, there's a part of me I'm like, yes, that is really effing true, of course. And um, I do think the subject matter does let that credibility to believe that and go down that type of road. That type of road. But once they do that, the humor is so non-apparent that you can just kind of go. Can we focus on more comedy, please? Uh, as much as I enjoyed the story, and as much as I liked the char- characters, um, it's like the, that middle part. For a good 30, 40 minutes of the film, I would say there's some fairly good jokes within it. Um, but it's like the beginning and the end has some real gut busters. Had some moments where I really felt like falling to the floor in the theater, which is disgusting on all fronts, to be honest. But you know what? There's some moments in the beginning and the end, like I'm saying, where it's like it is so balls are hilarious. But the middle part, it's like as a few good jokes. But that is really it, and there's such a good majority of that film. This film where it's just like it feels. Kind of like a filler joke in between here. I was like, oh, a bit of a pun here and there. And they acknowledge that it's a pun, but it's like, after a while, it gets really boring and repetitive and tedious to humor at times. And I felt it, it was, at least in my opinion, kind of predictable, especially even though they acknowledge what kind of sources like this. It's like, yes, this is, um, ah, uh, forgot one joke in the movie. When they address, I don't know, ah, uh, it's just a, a scene. I remembered, but regardless, it's like when the humor. I will say that it's just some humor in the movie where it feels really obvious or really just kind of meh. And I'm gonna tell you it, when, the, when the when the when the humor doesn't work in the movie, it really doesn't work. I mean, it really does feel like it's dragging the movie down. Because as much as I enjoyed this movie, the pacing also felt off. As because uh, the middle is where the story is most focused on. And it really tends to make or break the experience. Then again, any second you could do that to the film, to be honest. It's like the beginning is like, oh, I, could, I love it or hate it. You walk out of theater or not, it's up to you. But regardless, it's a really interesting um, growth of how you see the film in my, in my experience, at least. 
um, what else do I gotta say? Um, the writing is really fucking good. I will say that. It's, when it is good, it is really good. Like, it's f smart, it's witty, it's cons at most times when it is focusing on the humor, it is consistently fucking hilarious. And I do mean fucking hilarious. It really is that damn hilarious. It's so good, damn, goddamn funny. Um, and overall, it just really felt like a really good, fun experience. And before going to my final thoughts on it as a whole, one last thing I'll bring up. The final act. Like the last 20 minutes. Holy fuck. And I mean holy fuck, quite literally, because it is a holy fuck of a scene. Because to me, it's like, I, without giving anything away, they go so far. And it had me laughing myself stupid at times. And in, and for me, that ending part, I'm like, holy shit. And I'm glad there was no one in the theater that was like under the age of 17 because it's like, it is like oh my god that is like rated if this is if the rating system of, for movies was like video games then that little part there would be rated A like it is like holy shit my god wow <laughs> oh my god um but in the end it's a really fun interesting vivid funny creative imaginative type of film. This the to imagine Sausage Party is like imagine the type of scenario of Toy Story but if but if it's food and it has a humor of South Park in it mixed together, that's what you get here. And it is fun, ridiculous and raunchy as hell. Now I will say as some cons I will say yeah, the middle part is a real drag and you do feel that weight and the desperation of jokes at times, and it really does, isn't that great? And I will say, considering it, it's a comedy, because comedy to, is probably the most subjective, aside from horror, is probably the most subjective comedy, is, is probably the most subjective uh, genre of film. And it really does depend on your own approach of humor. And for me, it, um, for me, when it comes to good, funny comedies, it's all about how I could revisit a comedic scene in the movie and still consistently laugh at it. And for me, this film has a few moments where it does have that, but a lot of moments where it does kind of feel like I know what's coming and it just won't be that funny. If I watch it over and over again, so therefore I feel like in my experience, I, I have a feeling I probably won't watch this again. Like, will I buy it on DVD? Probably not. Will I, will I buy it willingly? No. Will it be on TV and I'll be like, oh, Sausage Party? Then, yes. It's like, it is well done. I, I'm not saying this is, um, I'm not saying this is trash. I'm not saying, and I'm not saying it's sound, sound, it's background sound music. But what I am saying is that it is serviceably good, in my view. And that's what it is. It is a movie that I, that I personally would declare it is a just good movie. Uh, in my exp and that's really my opinion. So, yeah, the cinematic experience, I have a feeling, won't be as great as I see it more and more and more. But in the end, I still really did enjoy Sausage Party. And I would give Sausage Party... Ooh, this is a rating... I'm really thinking of now. Hmm. I need some time to think about it. But you know what? As of right now, I don't know if it will change or not, but I'm going to give Sausage Party... Um, an 81%. That's my final rating, everyone. I really do hope you enjoy it. And stick around for some more reviews, as always, everyone, for in the future. And, uh, yeah, uh, see you until then, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the future for more videos, as always. Till then, I bounce. See ya.